When we work with clients in the Writing Center on their master's thesis, they frequently have questions about formatting. I suspect formatting might be the second most difficult part of writing your master's thesis. Obviously, the most difficult part, we hope, is the thesis itself. Um, but formatting can be tricky. If you have been working on a thesis, you are aware of this. I have a few tricks that you might not know about Microsoft Word that can help this process be a little bit easier. The first one is the Show Hide button. If you've ever taken any kind of an editing course, you will recognize in the paragraph group of the ribbon on Microsoft Word a little symbol for a paragraph break. Um, it doesn't make paragraphs. What it does is it shows you all of the formatting marks in your document, which Word generally hides, because unless you're doing very precise typesetting, you just don't need them. When you click this button, something magical happens. When you print, these marks will never show on your file, so don't worry that pushing this button is going to change anything fundamental in your document. It won't. What it will do is show you things like how many lines are there between my title and my submission statement, or my submission statement and my name and so on and so forth. It can show you things like, for example, between Pittsburgh State University and Pittsburgh, Kansas, there is a gap, but there is no mark here. That means this is double-spaced. So as you're going through formatting your thesis, this can be a really helpful way to see why strange things are happening or why things you want to have happen aren't. Another really useful thing to know about Microsoft Word is that Microsoft Word will automatically, by default, add space between paragraphs of the same style. As I scroll down to a page that has paragraphs of the same style, you can see that when this paragraph, the first paragraph of the page, ends, it goes into the next paragraph and there is no extra space. You can see that mark there because we turned on the Show Hide button, and so you can see that Enter was hit here. By default, Microsoft Word will add an additional little, kind of a half a line. This makes the people who look at the formatting of academic writing very unhappy. They do not want that extra space there. You can control that by hitting Control-A to select your entire document, and then clicking in the paragraph group, the little arrow next to line and paragraph spacing. Be sure that your settings for line spacing and similar are how you want them, and then click on line spacing options. Don't add space between paragraphs of the same style is not by default checked. Put a check mark there and click OK. Also, in that section is a little bit of on-the-fly changing of space between paragraphs. Be sure that both of these in every paragraph you're working with and every heading you're working with and basically everything you're working with on your thesis, be sure this says add space before paragraph. What that means is that there is no extra space being added before or after paragraphs. This is another thing that Microsoft Word likes to do by default because they clearly don't understand writing a thesis. I hope that these tips help. Um, if you have any questions or if you need any help, please come join us at the Graduate Writing Studio. You can get uh, individualized help for your thesis from a member of our faculty and we hope we can help you. Please let us know. Uh, you can contact us at writingcenter at pittstate.edu. We also have information on our website.